Hi. Welcome to my practice. My name is Julian. Thank you for joining me today. I would like in today's practice to explore a little bit of a flow, but in the same time to hold some poses to be able to live them, to feel them, to connect with them. So once in a while we hold for a few breaths to give us the chance, the opportunity to really find the space to the openness and the sensations. If it's your first time doing a yoga practice, I advise you to be very careful with your alignment. And um, if you have any issues, mobility issues, or any injury you are recovering from, please observe the sensations in your body. Respect. Don't force it. Just let's go together in this journey in a mindful way. When I begin today in a child's pose. So come towards the back of your mat. <coughs> Maybe you bring your big toes together. Leave a little bit of space between your thighs, between your knees, and sit back toward your heels. Allow your toes to maybe sink in between your thighs. <clears throat> and then reach toward the front of your mat with your arms, with your hands, creating a space. Taking this opportunity to scan through your body. Just searching, scanning for any sensation. See how you arrived this morning to your mat. Acknowledge any sensation, respect it during the practice. And then begin inhaling and exhaling through your nostrils. Let's start elongating, deepening your inhale and lengthening your exhale. If Ujjayi breath is within your practice, this is the moment for you to awaken your Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. But every inhalation Create a space, reach, open. By every exhalation, maybe begin cultivating your focus to be present here and now. Maybe ask yourself why are you here this morning on your mat? What is your intention? What are we looking for? And then slowly, let's begin by walking with your hands toward the right, creating a little side bend, placing your left hand on your right, and then gently sink. Allow your left shoulder to come down towards your mat. Don't force it. Just let it be. Remember, this is just the beginning of the practice. And then slowly, let's walk over to the other side. Or maybe placing your right hand on your left, allowing your right shoulder to gently sink towards your mat. And slowly go back with your hands over the front. Take a moment here. And then very gently, energizing your core, articulating your spine, just gently round. Coming up into all fours. Aligning your feet behind your knees. Aligning your hips over your knees. You're gonna open up, so we're gonna walk forward towards the front of your mat into a melting heart puppy pose. 
You want to maintain your hips lined up over your knees. Maybe not necessarily your chin comes onto your mat or your forehead. See what your body is open for this morning, this afternoon, this evening, this day. Feel that space you have in front of your chest. Opening up your heart center, creating more space for your inhalations. Observe the sensations at the back, the back of your shoulders. And then gently articulate your spine once more around your spine, energize your core muscles. And mindfully coming into a sphinx, sending your hips down and forward, or you bend your elbows, landing on your elbows, underneath your shoulders. Maybe the palm your has facing up, in a sign of letting go, receiving. Notice if there is any discomfort, if there is any tension in your lumbar region. And try to maintain the integrity of your spine. So maybe look towards the front of your mat. Take a moment there. And now look to your right side. Inhale center. And exhale, take it over to your left side. Go back to the center. And then gently release. Hands underneath your shoulders. Hug your elbows in. Roll your shoulders and mindfully coming up into a child's pose while you exhale. And once more, returning to the table pose. Hands underneath your shoulders. Knees underneath your hips. <clears throat> Taking your right arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale to open up to create a gentle twist. Exhale, thread the needle, sending your right shoulder, right ear onto the mat and hold. We don't stay here for long. Inhale deeply and exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Pressing gently with your left arm to elevate once more your right arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale. And exhale. The right hand goes back underneath your shoulder. Let's try the other side. Your left arm goes up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Maybe look up to your left hand. Exhale. Thread the needle to hold. Right arm can stay where it is. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Inhale. Ujjayi breath. And exhale. Present with your right hand to lift your left arm up while you inhale. And exhale to come back into your old fours. Cat and cows. Sending your tailbone up towards the ceiling, dropping your belly, and slowly start opening your collarbone, chest towards the front. Inhale. And exhale, tucking your tailbone under, round your spine, chin to your chest. Let's add an extra movement here. When you round gently, you're going to elevate your knees on the floor to energize your core muscles a little bit further. Lower down your knees, tailbone goes up. Opening your heart center towards the front. Inhale, maybe look up towards the front or even up. Exhale, tailbone goes under, round your spine, energize your core, chin to your chest, and finally elevate your knees off the floor to connect even more with your core. Lower your knees down. Tailbone goes up, drop your belly while you inhale. Exhaling, tailbone goes under and energize your core muscles. Chin to your chest, elevate your knees, and take a moment. And then gently release. 
Taking your left arm to the front. Right leg goes to the back. Inhale to elevate and hold. Dorsiflex your right foot. Reach with your left arm towards the front. So you want to create those two lines. Left arm goes reaching forward. Right leg goes kick with your right heel towards the back. And then gently release your left hand back into your mat. Take your right leg all the way to your right side. You want to line up maybe your right heel with your left knee. Tuck in your toes under and your left foot. Your right heel is behind your toes. You can be one gently step towards the front with your hands. Sit back like in a child's pose. Left heel. You're going to connect your left heel with your seat bone if that is able or available to you. What is happening here? So my inner thighs are nice and opening. And also stretching the bottom, the sole of my left foot and my toes, my back, my spine, my shoulders, my chest, my arms. Maybe walking slowly with both hands towards your right foot, connect. Once more, a side opening. Go back towards the center. And then gently rise up once more into your table pose. And talk, shake for a moment your left foot. Now you're going to take... Your left foot to the back, your right arm goes to the front. Energize your core, inhale, and exhale to settle down. Once more, reaching with your right hand towards the front. front. Dorsiflex your left foot. Take a moment. Protracting with your left shoulder so we do not collapse on it. And then gently release your right hand back. And then take your left leg towards the left. About 90 degrees, lining up your left heel with your right knee about. Left foot, your heel is behind your toes. Tucking your toes under on your right foot. Walk with your hands, maybe one step towards the front. Inhale, exhale, sit back onto your right heel, connecting your sit bone with your heel if that is open for you. Feel the difference between your left and right. Maybe exploring Learning from the difference. And then let's walk with both hands over to your left leg, to your left foot. Feel the difference. Where do you feel the most sensations? Do you feel any tension or any compression? Try to understand why. Practice with awareness. Go back with your hands towards the front. And then slowly, gently come back into all fours. Untuck your right foot, toes. And just shake gently. Give me one step towards the front with your hands. Shift your weight, kind of sending your shoulders over your wrists. Tucking your toes under. Elevate your knees off the floor into Palakanasana. Plank position. Protracting with your shoulders. Energizing your thighs against to the center line. Activating the muscles around your thighs. Maybe your glutes, your pelvic floor. Energizing your core. Protract with your shoulders. And create a strong foundation on your hands. Hug your elbows in. Maybe shift the weight even further towards the front. Lower down halfway chaturanga. And then we take it all the way down to the floor. <clears throat> Placing your hands next to your thighs, facing down. You're going to elevate your thighs, your toes, by keeping your hands and your pubic bone connected into your mat. I want you to exhale this time just to remain connected with your core. Inhale, exhale, elevate. Press firmly with the palm of your hands onto your mat and your pubic bone. Inhale to lower, exhale. 
So feel what muscles are lifting your body. Which muscles are you using to come up? Inhale. Exhale, energize and hold. Take your hands off the mat. Energize your arms towards the back, activating your triceps, your back muscles, the back of your shoulders, your glutes, your hamstring, your calf muscles, everything at the back of your body. The whole back muscles are awakening. And then gently release, hands underneath your shoulders, hug your elbows in. So let's see if we can come up once more into plank position. So you tuck in your toes under. Elevate your knees off the floor. Maybe gently tuck in your tailbone under, activating your core muscles, and slowly inhale, and then exhale, mindfully rise up. Nice. Realign if that is necessary for you. Inhale, and exhale, mindfully elevate your hips up towards the ceiling, finding your first adult Mukha Shanasana, downward facing down. Notice the sensations. Check. And there is no tension behind your neck. Maybe looking at your belly button. Elevate your heels off the floor. Engage your core. Articulate your spine while you inhale. Exhale. Come gently down into Chaturanga. Hug your elbows in. Inhale. Urdhva Mukha Shanasana, be very gentle, is our first back extension. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shanasana, downward facing dog. Shall we do that again? Just be aware of the sensation. We're just exploring, see how your body's um, reacting to this first articulation. So elevate your heels. Round, articulate your spine. So you're coming through plank position, from then you lower down into halfway chaturanga, hug your elbows in. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Shanasana. Again, be kind to your spine. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shanasana, downward facing dog. Take a moment. Then start connecting, awakening that channel of communication between your body and your mind. Be aware of your breath. Be present. Respect your body. Honor your body. Right hand, right ankle. Engage your core. And then mindfully see if you can start elevating your left leg up. Take a moment there. Explore. Maybe bending your left knee. Maybe finding your left foot. Finding this gently tiger pose. Again, it's very early into your practice. Be kind. Release. Inhale. Exhale, stepping with your left foot between your hands. Lower your right knee to the floor. And tuck your toes. Bring your arms overhead, Anjanayasana, crescent moon. Maybe sink gently into your front. Keep an eye on your left knee, which is on top of your ankle. Inhale, and exhale gently, cock to your arms and hold. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Open up, maybe throw your fingers toward the back of your right knee. Releasing your arms overhead, inhale. And exhale, mindfully frame your left foot between your hands, tucking your toes under, step into plank position. Inhale, hug your elbows in, lower down, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Shanasana, upward facing dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shanasana, downward facing dog. Take a moment. So try not to take your body for granted. Maybe your body was open on both sides yesterday, but maybe it's not open today. So listen to the sensations. Don't force it. Yesterday was a completely different practice. 
even could, you could be doing the same practice with me, but still, don't take it for granted. So taking your left hand towards your left ankle, energize your core, connect, and slowly elevating your right leg up. Engage. Maybe bend your right knee. So if you can have a hold of your right foot with your left hand into a tiger. And then gently release, inhale, and exhale, stepping with your right foot between your hands. Lower your left knee to the floor. You wanna check that your right knee remains on top of your ankle and tuck your toes. Bring your arms overhead, Anjanayasana, crescent moon. Exhale to sink. Maybe look up, maybe not. See what your body's asking or letting you. Cut to your arms, inhale. Exhale, open up to hold. Interlay your fingers behind your back. Draw your fingers down toward the back of your left knee. Open up. Feel the sensations, learn from the difference. What is opening, what is stretching, what is tense. Bring your arms overhead, inhale. And exhale, from your right foot between your hands, tucking your toes under. Step into plank position, inhale. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Shanasana. Exhale. Adho Mukha Shanasana, downward facing dog. Once more, check in. What is your body telling you now? Slow down, we're doing fine. Just listen to it. Bend your knees, look into your hands, and then gently walk towards the front of your mat. Big toes are together, heels slightly apart. Maybe placing your hands onto your shins. Inhale, halfway lengthen. So find your flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Soften your knees. We're gonna make a deep, deep squat. So you bend your knees. And you're gonna send your arms towards the front, awakening your thighs, strong core. You see how deep I am? Maybe the back of your thighs parallel to the floor. Fold forward, exhale. Soften your knees and mindfully roll all the way up. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Finding your Tadasana, mountain pose. Connecting with your breath is essential. So, try to find an even length that is available for you between your inhale and your exhale. Maybe this is a good moment to set an intention for your practice. Cultivate your focus by being here and now. Let's do a few rounds of sun salutations. Let's begin with Suri Namaskara A, sun salutation A. Bring your arms overhead, inhale, Urahastasana, tall mountain. Exhale, hinge from your hips, Uttanasana, fall forward. Inhale, Ara Uttanasana, halfway lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step into plank. Hug your elbows in, gently lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Shanasana, upward facing the arm. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shanasana, downward facing the arm. Take a moment, don't force it. Allow your body to open naturally. Look at your belly button. Bend your knees, look into your hands, and gently walk towards the front. 
Yin hel ara utanas and a half way lengthen. Eggs are utanas and a full forward. Soften your knees, rise up. Inhale, Urahasthasana. Exhale, bring your arm by your side. Tadasana, mountain pose. Find a neutral spine. Maybe slightly your pelvis is still posteriorly, gently. Inhale, bring your arms overhead. Urahasthasana. Exhale, hinge from your hips. Uttanasana, fall forward. Inhale, Ara Uttanasana, halfway lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step into plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukhasanasana, upward facing the. Exhale, Adva Mukhasanasana, downward facing the. Notice how your body is building up. Hit. Allowing your body to open safely. Don't force it. You will see that eventually your body is nice and warm and it starts going by itself more open without the need of forcing. Bend your knees, look into your hands and gently step or float toward the front of your mat. Inhale, Ara Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, fall forward. Engage into your core muscles, rise up, inhale, Udhasthasana. Exhale, bring your arm gently by your side. Two more rounds. Inhale, Udhasthasana. Exhale, hinge from your hips, fall forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen, Ara Uttanasana. Exhale, step or float, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukhasanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shanasana, downward facing the earth. If you decide to hop, to jump between one place to the other, please do that mindfully, wisely, if that is open for you. If not, just step gently to the back. There is no less or more of doing it. So be, be just aware of what your body is able to Bend your knees, look into your hands, and gently step or float towards the front of your mat. Inhale, Ara Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Engage your core, rise up. Inhale, Urahasthasana. Exhale, bring your arm by your side, Tadasana, mountain pose. Last round. Inhale, bring your arms overhead. Exhale, hinge from your hips, fall forward. Inhale, Ara Uttanasana, halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step into plank. Lower down, and inhale, Urdhva Mukhasanasana, upward facing dog. Exhale, Adho Mukhasanasana, downward facing dog. If I'm going too fast for you, I wait for you. Don't rush, don't skip. Just take your time. We are here waiting for you. Look at your belly bottom. Observe your breathing and try to remain present. Try to be here and now on your mat. Lifting your right leg up, inhaling to three-legged dog. Exhale, coming gently with your right knee towards your right elbow, engage your core muscles. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, take your right knee across to your left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, stepping with your right foot between your hands. Lower your left knee to the floor. And tuck your toes. Bring your arms overhead. Inhale, spinal twist. Exhale, gently turn over to your right side. Take a moment here. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Bring your arms overhead. Inhale, Anjanayasana. Tucking your toes under on your left foot. Exhale, swing your arms mindfully towards the back, elevating your left knee off the floor. Strong diagonal. Energize your triceps and your back muscles. Look down toward your right knee. Check your alignment. Back leg is straight and strong. Bring your arms overhead. Inhale, crescent line. Exhale, swing your arms to the back, mindfully elevating your left leg off the floor into warrior three. 
dorsiflex your left foot energize both legs bring your hands together in front of your heart center soften your right knee into warrior one Vidabhadrasana, check your alignment bring your arms overhead maybe your hands together maybe not check your knee on top left foot 45 degree angle towards the left this is a frontal asana you want to square your hips towards the front of your mat and then gently check shoulders away from your ears inhale exhale once more Cactus to your arms take a moment beautiful inhale return to your warrior tree exhale elevating gently your left leg ah and then slowly open your arms in a t-shape in preparation for ardha chandrasana half moon right hand goes gently down towards the floor left arm goes up toward the ceiling i almost lost it maybe look up to, toward your left side take a moment there if available chopasana sugar cane bending your left knee open up your left take a moment there keep on breathing keep on opening release your left hand soften your right knee step back virabhadrasana two warrior two check your alignment right knee arms open up this is a lateral asana so what is happening what am i feeling here flip your hands extend your front leg elevate your toes so you are on your right heel bring your arms overhead inhale and then exhale bring your hands together in front of your heart center warrior two flip your hands inhale exhale warrior two mindfully beautiful once more extend your arms utita trikonasana triangle pose create a space for your spine towards the front and then gently coming down with your right hand either onto your either side of your shin on your shin and open up explore maybe remember there is a big difference between yesterday and today maybe there are so many factors temperature sleep stress level how is the moisture in your body so it really a lot of factors that you should take into account before forcing your body maybe it's a completely different experience keep on opening keep on lengthening if that is too much looking up you can always look to the front look down to your right foot just find your way engage your core muscles and gently mindfully bend your right knee inhaling to peaceful reverse warrior maybe gently placing your left hand behind your back and around toward your right inner thigh sink open so reverse warrior upper body goes backwards and upwards lower body goes downwards and forward Keep on breathing, opening a space on the right side of your ribcage. Giving some time to your intercostal muscles to kind of stretch, to kind of have a little free time. Inhale, exhaling to Parso Konasana, side angle. Sending your right elbow mindfully towards your right knee, right side and maybe extend your side angle down with your fingertips towards the floor open your chest so we connect so we bind so connecting your hands behind your back keep your chest open towards your left once you connect you reopen take a moment there i'm going to extend into a bind triangle very gentle careful extending your front leg your right leg feel the difference now when you are bind maybe open a little bit more maybe look up release your hands and mindfully find this humble lengthening opening reminding us humbleness compassion forgiveness and then gently start turning your body towards your left side you're gonna find a skandhasana side lunge so you're gonna sit on to your right side beautiful so you sit at the back at the front of your mat 
Maybe bring your hands together in front of your heart center. Take a moment there. If you feel that your right heel wants to come up, please allow your body to do that, all right? Sometimes it's more easy for us, some of you, to have your right heel lifted, or you can even keep your hands on the floor. But now we're gonna use some strength onto your right thigh, so you're gonna bring your arms in a T-shape. We're gonna transition to warrior two toward the back of your mat. So you energize your right leg to transition into warrior two towards the back of your mat. Beautiful. Stay strong. Line up shoulders over your hips. Inhale into five point and start. Exhale into a prayer squat. Inhale into five point and start. Heels behind your toes. Prasarita padotatnasana D. Exhale your peace fingers are coming to your big toes. Inhale halfway lengthen. Exhale fall. Take a moment here. Mm, just feel the stretch at the back of your thighs. You bend your elbows sideways. And then release your toes. We're going to explore a gentle spinal twist. So listen to me gently. Start turning your body, your torso towards your left side. And then maybe start walking with your hands to find a way to connect right hand with your left big toe and see if you can find a way to connect left hand with your right big toe a gentle spinal twist take a moment there keep on breathing respect, respect the sensations and then mindfully release take all the time you need inhale halfway lengthen exhale fall Either stay, or maybe you can explore an inversion with me. So staying here, you can always play your hands underneath your shoulders about, lining up with your feet. If you want to come into a tripod inversion, engage your core, and then mindfully bring your legs all the way up and hold. Beautiful. Inversions are a gift to your body. It's a beautiful practice. And then gently release by open back, down your feet. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fall. Hands onto your waist. Hug your elbows in. Rise up. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, warrior two towards the back of your mat. Windmill your arms down towards the floor. Lifting your left leg up, inhaling to three-legged dog. Exhale, you bend your left knee, open up your hips. Either stay or explore with me, wild thing. Take your time. Nice and control. Open up. Keep on breathing. Another way to create a nice... Back extension, spinal stick extension. Inhale. Exhale, left hand comes down towards the mat, left knee comes into your chest. Let's cross it into a falling triangle, extending your right leg. Inhale, either stay or exhale, elevate your left leg. And hold. Maybe we can explore a little bit further by bending your left knee, holding your left foot with your right hand, and extend to open up. Another way to open your right intercostal muscles. Bending, finding your way into a pigeon. Take your time, please. And tuck your toes. Maybe walk a little bit backwards with your right leg, create a space. Walk with your hands backwards. Look over your right shoulder. You want to line up your right foot with your right hip. Let's do a few options. Option number one, to simply come into your forearms. If you feel any discomfort on your left knee, I advise you to avoid this asana completely. Listen to your body. 
If this is available, open for you, maybe you can take it all the way towards the front. Explore. It's a great hip opening on the left side. So feel the sensations. The red flag you want to be aware of is the sensations on your left knee. If your left knee is okay with this, it's fine. Sometimes we're just very tight on the hips and you need to respect that. That is the way you are. You cannot change it or just not change it suddenly. You need time maybe. Sometimes we are able to do some progression on it. Sometimes your structure is the way it is and that cannot be changed. Coming back slowly with your hands underneath your shoulders. Tucking your toes under, find your downward facing dog. Feel the sensations. Lower your knees down towards the floor, connect your big toes, sit back into your child's pose. This time, I want you to bring your hands next to your feet into Balasana. And just take a moment there to feel, to evaluate, to understand. And also to allow your body to recover, to heal. Take a moment there. Staying strong, straight present. You know, we have this monkey mind going from tree to tree every time it has the, ch the chance. But in our practice, we have that opportunity to have more connection, more control on it by being present through your breath, through the sensations. Reaching forward your arms, inhaling to plank position. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Shanasana, upward facing dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shanasana, downward facing dog. Let's explore the other side together. Do not gaff, don't have the expectations in your body that your right was this way, so the left has to be exactly the same. Don't do that to yourself. Learn from it. Right? Give a chance to your body to lead your practice. And you learn from it. Lifting your left leg up, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, send, gently send your left knee toward your left elbow or shoulder. Inhale, lifting your left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, take it across over to your right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, stepping with your left foot between your hands. Lower your right knee to the floor and tuck your toes, Anjanayasana, crescent moon. Bring your arm, <coughs> pardon, overhead, inhale. And exhale, you twist to your left side, gentle spinal twist. Take a moment there. We are sinking into your front leg. We are twisting. So there is a different layers of information you can learn from. And then you bring your arms overhead, inhale. You tuck in your toes under from your right foot. Exhale, swing your arms to the back while you elevate your right knee off the floor. Energize. Strong back body. Think about you are pressing with the back of your right knee towards the ceiling. Bring your arms overhead into crescent lunge. Engage your core muscles. Exhale, swing your arms back. Find your warrior three. Slow transition. Dorsiflex your right foot. Energize your left. Take a moment there. Explore. Bring your hands together in front of your heart center. And Janayasana. Um, soften your left knee. Bring your arms overhead. Inhale into warrior one. Check your left knee on top of your ankle. Maybe look up to your thumbs. Maybe not. Square your hips towards the front of your mat. So you gently send your right hip towards the front. Your left hip back. Take a moment there. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands back into your heart center. 
Energize once more into Warrior Three. Inhale and exhale to settle down. Open your arms in a T-shape while you inhale. Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon while you exhale. Open up. Dorsiflex your right foot. Maybe Chopasana, Sugar Cane. You bend your right knee, open up, holding your right hand, your right foot. Release. Soften your left knee, Virabhadrasana to Warrior Two. This is a lateral asana. Check your alignment. Left knee once more on top. Stuck your shoulders. Right foot 90 degrees. Extend your front leg. Dorsiflex your left foot. Bring your arms overhead. Inhale. So you are on your left heel. Exhale, project yourself. Open up, warrior two. Inhale. Bring your arms overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Exploring Uttita Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Create a space. Extend your front leg. And mindfully project your body forward, coming down to either side of your shin or on your shin. Look up toward your right hand. Uttita Trikonasana Extended Triangle Pose. Keep on breathing. Keep on opening. We hold for a few cycles of breath. Feel. Find that comfort, that easiness, that opening, that floating sensation, rather than collapsing. And you engage your core gently, maybe look down, soften your left knee, reverse warrior, peaceful warrior, inhale. Maybe taking your right hand behind your back around to hold your left inner thigh. Open up. Sink. Mm, create the space. Feel the sensations. Sink maybe a little bit deeper if your body allows you to. Maybe look up. Maybe look down. Listen what your body gives you. What is it for you today? Inhale. Parso Konasana, side angle. Left elbow comes down into your left thigh, left knee. And then gently, maybe, not necessarily, come into an extended side angle. Fingertips are coming down towards the mat. Keep opening your chest. Hold. Maybe bind your hands underneath, connecting, and hold, reopening. Once you connect, you reopen. You don't want to stay collapsed this way, but you want to stay open. Inhaling, and exhale, extending, bind triangle. The front leg goes straight. Keep your chest open toward your right side. Rebend your left knee, release your arms into this humble space, form. And then gently, Walk mindfully back towards the left side to frame your left foot between your hands. Hold. And then from here, we are going to mindfully and gently lift your left leg up, inhaling to three-legged dog. Take a moment there. Inhale, and exhale, stepping with your left foot toward the front, frame your left foot between your hands. Take a moment here. You're going to slowly turn to your right. We go again into Skandasana, side lunge, hold. Maybe deepening. Sitting on the back, at the left side of your Mat, uh, my back, uh, the, the back of my mat at this moment. Again, your hands can be in front of your heart center, on the floor. Explore. After opening, exploring, we're going to use the strength 
on your left thigh by opening your arms in a T-shape. Strong, strong foundation on your left foot. Rise up, warrior two, inhale. Mindfully take a moment there. Stuck your shoulders over your hips. Inhale into five point start. Exhale into a prayer squat. Inhale five point start. Exhale prayer squat. Pardon, all the way down to Prasarita Padotatnasana D. Inhale halfway lengthen. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, halfway lengthen. And exhale, gently start turning mindfully your body now towards your left side. Try to find now that the spinal twist. Be very kind to your body. Maybe your right hand finds your left big toe and see if you can find your spinal twist. Take a moment there. Be kind to your body. And then release, coming back to the center. We can explore Sisasana. If you are not able or familiar with, you can just remain with your elbows gently clasp and wait for us to explore an inversion. So mindfully connecting your fingers and coming up into Sirsasana. If available, maybe a butterfly onto your thighs, onto your legs. Open up. Engage your core and gently release. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fall. Hands onto your waist. Rise up. Inhale, five point start. Exhale into warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, windmill arms down towards the floor. Lifting your right leg up, inhale, three leg da. Bend your right knee, open your hips, wild thing. Take a moment here. To create a nice back extension, look up toward your right hand. Inhale, exhale, right hand comes down to the floor, right knee to your chest. Take your right leg across into a falling triangle, lifting your left arm up. Inhale. Exhale, maybe a falling star. Energizing your obliques. Maybe bend your right knee, hold your left, right foot with your left hand. See so if you can extend and open up the left side of your ribcage. Then gently release. Pigeon. Take a moment here. And tuck your toes. Create a space. Walk backwards. Look over your left shoulder. Take a moment there. And then slowly, cautiously, wisely, for arms are coming into your mat. Check the sensations on your right knee. Am I collapsing on the right? Try to maintain your hip girdle parallel to the floor so you are not collapsing in either side. And if it's open for you, maybe walk with your hands towards the front and sleep in pigeon. And slowly coming back, tucking your toes under, and find your downward facing the. Take a moment there. Arm balance. Soften your knees and walk a 
Actually, let's meet with your hands and your feet in the center of your mat. Maybe line up your hands in front of your feet. Engage your core, elevate your heels, soften your elbows. So if you can place your knees on your triceps and maybe connecting, elevating your feet and connecting your big toes. Take a moment there for five, four, three, two, one. Then gently release, find your malasana, the yogi squat, creating a space, hands together, bend your elbows, opening up your hips, lengthening your spine. And then gently release. Find your way into a seated position. <clears throat> Bring your arms overhead, inhale. Pachimottanasana, dorsiflex your feet, reach forward. And then mindfully find your way, your space. Inhale, halfway lengthen, exhale, fall. Imagine that you want to go towards your feet and kiss your toes. You want to create that space in your spine. And then gently release. Let's open up. Upa Vista Konasana. Open up into a stroll split. Your pelvis tilts anteriorly coming with you. Maybe find your space once more towards the front. Explore maybe what's further yesterday than today. So just respect the sensations in your body. Walk back with your hands. And then gently close. <clears throat> Bring your arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, connect with your core muscles and mindfully lower all the way down. Take your knees onto your chest. Maybe hug your knees, take a moment. Open your arms in a T-shape, inhale, and exhale, send both knees over to your right side. <clears throat> Maybe gaze over to your left. I always like to Finish my practice with a spinal twist and with a happy baby to kind of realign my spine, to realign everything, to bring everything in place, kind of. Inhale, center, and exhale over to the other side. So go back to the center and find your happy baby. We take a few cycles of breath here. You want to line up your ankles with your knees. You want to press your knees downwards. But in the same time, you want to lengthen your tailbone also downwards. So you can flatten your back. Take a moment there. And breathe. And observe the sensations. And then gently release, bring your feet back onto your mat, extend your legs, find your version of your Shavasana. Allow your body to heal, to restore, to recover after stressing, stretching, bending, twisting, lengthening, strengthening, just let it go.
maybe observe 